The clinic is the curriculum, is the philosophy that we're working off of. And what that means is they're gonna get a, a large amount of their training in-house. Something that makes us uh, particularly unique is our partnership with our outpatient continuity clinic. Um, Chapade Indian Health is a federally qualified health center, a tribal FQHC, and that partnership creates a, a medical home where the residents are going to get just a phenomenal education. You know, Chapade is not just for native patients, it's also for Medi-Cal and, and low-income patients. And we do things like we have a cash pay sliding scale, we take people who have no insurance. I fell in love with Chapa Day after residency just because of its mission and um, you know it, they really mean it when they when they talk about um, serving the underserved. It's not just a part of the mission statement, it's something that's living and breathing every day. Really what it comes down to is two core ideas. Number one, we're going to care for you by providing really good care. And number two, we're gonna care about you by being compassionate and kind when we do it. The needs of our low-income population have only grown. Being able to bring fresh, young, bright minds into this community to learn what it is to practice rural medicine feels like a gift that we can give to the community. And, and, and it's something that matters both to us, Chapade, and to the hospital. The first year will be done in Sacramento, that's the intern year, uh, and then the second and third year will be on the rural residency track, so that's partly in the clinic at Chapa Day, partly practicing here in the hospital, so it's really getting a, a, a well-rounded experience. One of the benefits about this particular hospital is it's uh, what's called an unopposed program, so it, they'll have basically access to all the patients and all the things that need to be done and really everything a patient needs we do in-house. So. Residents will really get a very thorough, uh, broad exposure to procedures and diseases, and uh, we have really interesting cases that come through here. So definitely one of the benefits of the hospital here and the program. Number one, because of how invested this leadership team is and how invested this county is on multiple levels, to ensuring the success of this program. There's a great need for primary care uh, in, in Nevada County, and so they're gonna be walking into a, an underserved area and a population that is ecstatic to have more primary care physicians. That creates tremendous opportunity to help build and frame a, a new novel program that's high quality and will serve the needs of our community in training physicians that will be really able to jump out immediately into rural family practice. Practicing full spectrum family medicine, seeing pediatric patients, doing prenatal and obstetrical care, um, and pursuing hospitalist medicine if that's what they desire. So that's a big part of what I am absolutely confident about um, that's going to lead to a successful residency program. You have a dedication to working with underserved populations. You see yourself as a future physician leader who wants to be involved in their community to really feel like you make an impact where you live and work. This residency program is really exciting, but it's also really important. Um, a lot of our communities that are more rural uh, really just need really good doctors that care about them. We want to build a residency program that supports people and puts people first in, in that education um, and actually have a team that supports them in providing underserved medicine so that they feel passionate that this is something that's sustainable that they can kind of continue to do um, over time and not burn out. Sometimes that's tough but um, with this kind of team-based approach I think it's doable and I think it's sustainable and I think it, it feeds the soul in some ways.